Hey there guys, once again I was down in Kihabara, got myself another little kit to build. This is made by Gak and Mook, the guys who make the Otona no Kagaku, which you will see in an earlier video. I started going through that series, but this is a, uh, a side thing, it's not the uh, uh, Otona no Kagaku, which is science for adults, this is a, a standalone kit. And it's a uh, DigiRobot 01. This cool robot helps you understand the principle of digital computer. DigiRobot 01, the programming robot kit. And down the bottom here it says, DigiRobo 01 is a do-it-yourself robot kit, good for experiment. It controls movements by reading brightness with a light sensor, CDS or cadmium cell. Easy programming is a special feature of this kit. So it seems like it's a, a line following robot. Um, and there's some way you can program it somehow. But let's uh, tear it apart, put this thing together and see how it works. So I'll get the uh, plastic wrap off somehow. And it looks like we can open the front. Oh, there we go. Looks like there's the uh, the booklet. Oh, there's a picture of it. So maybe this thing here must rotate, go under the. Uh, the maybe that's a light sensor. Maybe it's not a line follower. Maybe it's a. Um, it just rotates and does whatever the uh, the sequence here told, tells it to do. There's all the parts. It's all in Japanese, but it's pictorial enough that we can do what we want. Yeah, it looks like you colour in the uh, the disc, and it's got the uh, the codes there to make it do what you want it to do. I'll photocopy them before I uh, I cut them out. Well, I'll photocopy them and not cut them out. And we've got all the bits and pieces here, so I'll dig all this out, clear the bench, and then we'll start putting this thing together. So here are all our parts, all laid out, ready to go. The uh, construction is just like plyboard, looks like it might be stamped, doesn't look like it's laser cut but just probably stamped, mass production die cut. But the uh, two main pieces, it's interesting, they've actually cut two different patterns and glued them together. You can see like, might be a gearbox sits in there, makes the construction very easy so it just fits in and locks into place. It's kind of three dimensional, see it's different on both sides. The same with this one too. And they got just normal flat punch pieces, we got uh, the disc here, that's what rotates on the top with the sensors. So that's a pre-programmed one, like be like some sort of demo, what does it say, a start, and it will rotate around and it will do some pattern on the floor, I guess you could put a pen in there and it will draw like like those old, uh, what are they called, logo robots, little dome ones where you can con control it with your computer. So we've got the uh, gearboxes, they're just a standard 3 volt little uh, toy motors, yeah, the little flattened what little not the round ones, but they're the flattened side ones that you see in all the cheap toys with the wheels. And uh, this one has got like a, a worm gear on it, so that'll um, that'll be connecting up to here and then rotating that around. And uh, the circuit board, this is the main control board. It's really really simple, barely anything on there. It's got two CDS cells, or two uh, light sensors, and then the two LEDs, which will be. I guess will be indicating the state of those two as that goes over the, the light and the dark. The LEDs will come on and off. Power switch, and then it's got a uh, 74, what's that? 74 HCU 04 AP or 7404, which is a, uh, a hex inverter. So that will be what's probably driving the motors. So when these go like light or dark, it will turn the motor on and off in the opposite way around. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is in that um, that circuit board. So without much further ado, I'll get the uh, instruction book out. We'll go to a time lapse and I'll put this thing together. Once we're done, we'll give it a test. <laughs>
And there's our robot, all done. Went together quite well. Little uh, nylon nut there for the uh, for the skid. Two gearboxes. They had some screws that touched the uh, terminals on the motor, and then uh, stuck through to some like brass or copper tabs, which then had the wires going up to the circuit board. So we'll just kind of twist the wires together and leave them at that. I might go over with a soldering iron later and just clean it up. And then on the top here, we've got the little green LED inside there which shines down onto the paper and then wherever there's black the light is blocked and where it's white the uh, the light can go through and then you've got the two sensors there and it looks like there's the two lights that show you which direction it's turning or whatever and um, of course there's a gearbox inside just here which has a little worm gear and it turns a turntable which turns the paper so I'll grab some batteries we'll put the batteries in see what this does and uh, maybe make our own designs because what you do is you put a pencil or a pen just here and it goes down through the hole and then it comes out the bottom just here so it kind of goes diagonally up and then you wrap a rubber band around here to hold the the pen in so I'll get some batteries and a felt pen and a big piece of paper and we'll uh, get this thing running so I've got the finished robot here ready to test Got the pen in to make the uh, the line on the floor, and uh, just using AA batteries. I ran out of C size and I forgot to get some, so these will work fine, no worries. So I've got to put it on the floor that way around, and it'll go in that direction. So let's stick it down here and see what it does. There's some, just some random pattern of some description. This is just what came, like a, a sample one that came with the uh, unit. I didn't program it myself yet. But yeah, it seems to work quite well. The, uh, the line's actually quite nice and clean. It's not jittery or anything. It's, yeah, I'm actually pretty <laughs> impressed. I, I had some problem with the gearboxes though. Uh, the wheels were slipping on the shafts and then when I glued the, uh, the wheels to the shafts, then the gear inside was slipping on the shaft as well. So I've, I roughed up the, uh, the shafts and then put some super glue on the wheel and the gear inside then now it's uh, gripping quite well it's so cheap they didn't even spy on the shaft before they pressed the gears on so they just they were just slipping under the, just the force of having the the pen stick through the bottom there put some grease in there and I've put the tape on just to stop the grease from flicking out but yeah after I fixed the gearbox it seems to be working quite well so that's the uh, Otono no Kagaku Science for Adults at Robot 01 the uh, programmable line drawing robot so that worked quite well after I worked out a few little kinks with the gearbox and whatnot. That was uh, not too bad at all. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, don't forget we've got the Patreon. Keep watching the videos. We'll see you next time.